and we are live another reaction another review today i'm going to react to diana and kudinova sweet dreams without further ado let's get into it let's go Okay, we're still on the vocal range, like how she manages to go to the lowest, deepest part of her vocals, and then at the same time she goes octaves high, like you can feel like as the track progresses, it's like she's also going up up, up an octave, I mean, that's, that's, that's impressive, I mean, for her, I don't know how old she is, but to master such without going off key off tune like to to do it like effortlessly like that it's just something else i mean Okay, for anyone to achieve what she does, you need to be in a group or a band and everyone like does his own vocal style. But it, it feels like she's her own band, like she can just switch it up. She can go low, she can go high. She doesn't need anybody really. I mean, as far as vocals go, if she needs somewhere like it's a deep part, she just do it. She doesn't need someone else from outside. If she needs the highest vocals, I feel like she can just do it still without her voice cracking or like going off key, which is incredible. I mean, to master that, to master this, as I said, like this kind of mastery. Talk about the content while well, it's a cover. It's Sweet Dreams. Yeah. I'm made of, uh, who am I? Yeah. Yeah, you know the song. Uh, the sound selection, well, it's it's subtle. We have some piano, like really soft piano in the background just to push the track. 
but really the main thing that you're looking at is the vocals not talking even about the the piano or the percussions or anything it's just her vocals how how she is switching it up and i feel like she did it intentionally because she wants the main thing to be her vocals in this track anyway i mean peace out that's all i got from it